Hey guys, Tyler here. Today, I'm gonna show you guys my video nasty collection. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Before I show my collection to you guys, let's first define what is a video nasty. A video nasty is a colloquial term in the United Kingdom to refer to a number of films distributed on video cassette that were criticized for their violent content by the press, social commentators, and various religious organizations. As you guys probably know, the 1970s and the 80s were full of exploitation films. In order for movies to be distributed in the United Kingdom across theaters, they basically had to go to a ratings board called the BBSC. The BBSC stands for the British Board of Film Classification. Basically, it's their equivalent of the MPAA. The BBSC has various different ratings. They have U, which is like the G rating. They have PG, they have 12, they have 15, and they have 18. Of course, many British cinemas, and of course the BBSC, did not want to rate these movies, so sometimes the distributors of these movies decided to release the films onto video. However, as soon as they released the video without any kind of rating, many people, of course, started to complain, and after that happened, basically the BBSC decided to rate the movies on cassette tape as well as the cinemas. And of course, once the BBSC decided to rate these movies on cassette tape, a lot of these movies were banned or censored. This concept, of course, is very foreign to me. And the main reason why I say that is because it's very different in America. In America, it's entirely possible to release an entire film without any kind of rating whatsoever on Blu-ray and DVD. We have entire unrated cuts on DVD and Blu-ray all the time. They're like at Walmart, they're like at other video stores. I just don't understand why the UK is not that way. But without further ado, here's my collection of video nasties. The first movie on the list is of course Zombie. Now this movie is also known as Zombie 2 and Zombie Flesh Eaters. This movie by the way was released with a lot of cuts. It was not until recently that in the United Kingdom they finally released it uncut on Blu-ray and DVD. There's like so many great moments in this movie. I swear to God, like it's so great. For example, there's an entire scene where basically the zombie attacks the shark. There is also this whole entire sequence where basically a zombie went to a girl and stabbed her eyeball out in glory detail. Those two scenes alone are basically why this film is one of my favorite zombie movies. The next thing on the list is basically Cannibal Holocaust. Words cannot begin to describe just how crazy this movie is. This film, to this very day, is not released uncut in the United Kingdom. My particular edition from America, from Grindhouse Releasing, has both the uncut version and the censored version. The main reason why this movie is censored to this very day is obviously because of the animal quality scenes. Thankfully, this Blu-ray edition is uncut, and it's also region free, so basically anybody across the world can see it uncut. Next up, of course, is Evil Dead. What can I say about this film that has not been said before? It's just basically Evil Dead. And by the way, guys, like this movie is now uncut in the United Kingdom. The second to last is the New York Ripper. The best way to describe the New York Ripper is that a Donald Duck killer is out to kill women, and yes, the Donald Duck killer cracks while he kills the woman. To this very day, the New York Ripper is not released uncut in the United Kingdom. The best way to get it uncut is obviously the American release. Finally, we have to be on. Apparently, they cut out at least two minutes of this movie. However, more recently, it got released uncut. So yeah, that is basically my video nasty collection. Are you guys in favor of censoring movies, or are you guys in favor of not censoring movies? Please tell me in the comment section down below, and until next time, take care. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend.
Because black friends are rare as you should be aware He smiles like Richard Pryor so just sit and stare It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler